Hi friends, welcome to WizBusters. I'm Emma and today I'm going to show you how to insert a tick box in cells using Google Sheets, like this. Before we begin, to stay updated with new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified of the latest videos out. There are two ways you can insert a tick box in a cell in Google Sheets. I'll show you them here. The first way is through the data validation menu. Firstly, select the cells you want to insert the tick box. Let's select the cells H2 to H1000. Then click Data, Data Validation. A dialog box comes up. The first part, Cell Range, has the range of cells we selected, which were H2 to H1000. Below this is Criteria. Here is a drop down menu, which has different options including list from a range, list of items, number, text, date, custom formula is, and tick box. Choose the option Tick Box. Then the dialog box changes. The default value for when a box is ticked is true, and unticked is false. But you can change that here if you want by clicking here, Use Custom Cell Values. When we click it, two entries appear. You can change the value for ticked here, say as verified. So let's do verified and the unticked as unverified. Below this states on invalid data and there are two options, show warning or reject input. So let's say we select reject input. In this case, you do not want users to enter any other items other than to check or uncheck the tick box. Under this is appearance, which has show validation help text. So if you check it, you will show instructions when users hover their cursor over the cell. So this is the default text, enter verified or unverified. And those were specified as we indicated here. If we did not put this, let's say if we did not put this, then it says enter true or false. So let's undo that and let's put verified unverified for custom values, then click save. Notice each cell has a tick box. If we check off, say, H2, um, notice that over here it says verified. This is because we type this in the dialog box to custom values. If you click the inside the unticked cell, you'll see the word unverified. Suppose if we did not check type in verified and unverified, what will happen? So let's uh, select H2 to H1000, click data, data validation, and uh, under criteria, we uncheck use custom cells, click save. Notice that if we go to the top, this is checked and it is true. This is unchecked and it is false. The second way to insert a tick box in Google Sheets is a very quick way and can be used if you want to keep the default values of true and false for the checked and unchecked tick boxes. Let me show you how. Select the cells you want to insert the tick box. So we would say true. Let's select I2 to I1000. Click insert, click tick box. Notice tick boxes are now in column I. And notice that if we check this, the value is true and the unchecked ones are false. There you go, my friends. That's how you create an input cell with a tick box. Thank you for watching this video and hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.